my zatima fans welcome back to my channel and we are gonna talk about talapere zatima this is episode five element of surprise and we are going to do a review on the episode and we're gonna dive right into it don't forget to like comment share and definitely subscribe to my channel so that you can get notified each time i post a video so let's dive right into it. Alright, so episode 5 starts off with Zach is at home with his leaf blower cleaning up his front yard when a car rolls up. When the car pulls up, a lady, and that lady, her name is Deja. So we finally get to meet Deja. So Deja is a nail technician by, by day, strip by night, and she is interested in Zach's condo. Me and Zach go ahead and shows her the place, and they have a little. I don't know. It kind of seems like they were flirting a little bit. You know when you meet somebody and they look really good and they're fine and you're just stumbling on your words and you're making reference to like sexual things but then you catch yourself and you're like, oh, that's not what I really mean and stuff like that. So that's what they were doing while, <laughs> while Zach was showing her the host. And she's all excited. She's ready to move in. She just want to get approved. And she's telling that Zach that she's excited and she's glad that the landlord lives next door and he's a strong male and they were all flirty. You now I've seen a lot of persons on Twitter like bashing this scene like oh Zach was a little bit too flirty. This is just Zach's personality. I don't think he meant any harm by it. <laughs> That's just who he is. Um, he's a little bit flirty. And I think it goes back to maybe like season one, Zach, um, where he's a little bit flirty. But he's not going to, I don't think he would put himself in a situation to cheat on Fatima, being that they're going this strong. But that's just the type of person he is. He's flirty and he's going to make persons comfortable. Alright, so Deja is finished viewing the apartment and she leaves all her application and stuff with Zach because she's really interested in the place. And when he gets outside, guess who's there? Nathan and Tony. <laughs> I mean, Nathan and Tony are two characters that we hate love. Like, Nathan is funny as hell. I know a lot of persons don't like him because he runs his mouth a lot. But Nathan is funny as hell. So they're outside and they're blocking, um, Nathan is blocking Deja in with their car. And they're like, ooh, like, they're interested to know who is she. Because, I mean, Deja, Deja does look good. Deja does look good. I give her that. She looks good. Um, so they're there talking and they're they're wanting to know Deja and wanting Zach to introduce her, but Zach is not interested because I mean it's it's his new tenant. He doesn't want to give up a bad vibe like they're going to always be there bothering her and stuff like that. So he kinda like brushed them off. Once Deja pulls off, they're there talking and they're Zach is telling him that, oh, she's going to be my new tenant. And they're laughing at him like, Fatima is never going to allow that. You know, they're jeering him and stuff like that. So they want to go inside. And Zach tells them to go ahead. He has to make a call. And again, they're jeering him saying, that, oh, you have to have permission for us to go inside. As I said, Nathan and Tony are two characters that you love hate. They're absolutely funny to watch together. Especially Nathan and Tony, he's the humble one. Nathan is the loud one that speaks whatever comes to his mind. Tony is a bit more level-headed when it comes on to any situation. The scene moves on to Zach calling Fatima. So he calls Fatima and she gives off a weird vibe. Like he could hear in her voice that something is wrong. And it's one thing about Zach. He's always going to pick up when something is wrong with Fatima. Whether just by looking at her or just by talking to her over the phone. And I love that about their relationship. He can just tell by her voice. So he knows that something is wrong and he's trying to get her to talk. But she is saying that she'll talk to him when she gets home um he just wanted to, her to know that her boys are there and she's gonna he's gonna get rid of them so that when she comes home they can have a conversation right so we're gonna move on to fatima now so fatima is in her feelings or she's on an emotional roller coaster because of this meeting she's gonna have with ian she haven't told zach about the meeting and i'm guessing that's what he heard in her voice so she goes on a coffee date or a coffee meeting, let me say, with her ex Ian.
So they're at the coffee shop and they're talking. Um, Ian tells her that he has cancer, wants her to be there for his mother, stuff like that. I mean, I'm not really buying this cancer story, but if he says he has cancer, then okay. Because his mother did confirm it that he has cancer, but I mean, ugh, okay, he has cancer. So they're having a conversation and talking. Ian is expressing himself about how much he, you know, how much he hurt Fatima and how much he's sorry and stuff like that and we actually find out we're finding out a lot about these characters and their backstory in this Fatima spin-off because Fatima disclosed that she got pregnant and Ian convinced her to have an abortion and before she could even heal or before she was even better he went on up and married the other girl so I'm guessing that's the reason why Fatima is so she was so hard on Zach in the first part and the reason she's so she has so many walls up she's not interested in having just any relationship she's afraid that if she lets somebody in as much as she lets in Ian then it's going to end up the same way and we actually get where she's coming from with this the whole abortion thing that's a sensitive topic um for anybody who's had it and the fact that he just left her after which meaning that he didn't want to do life with her at all so that just hurts on a whole other level not just being with her and leaving but actually getting pregnant and telling me oh you have to abort the child and then you leave and you marry somebody else that's like a whole other level of hurt that she's carrying there and we get to understand why she is so why she's not emotionally available all the time in this that he must be off is the first time we actually see her so emotional and even cry actually the only thing Fatima did is that she did not tell Zach about this meeting so Zach and his boys decide that they're gonna have a bear so Tony is on a bear run when he's on this bear run he is passing the coffee shop after he gets the bear and he sees Fatima hugging on Ian now he doesn't know what the situation is but he definitely took a picture because I mean he's going to tell Zach he wants to tell Zach I guess about this whole hugging on situation and if Zach knows about it while all of this is happening at the coffee shop at home Zach is there with Nathan. Nathan is funny. So Valerie comes over to talk to Zach about Deja and Nathan is obviously there trying to get in. Everybody is cute to Nathan. I wonder if he forgets that he's actually married. He's married with two kids and Nathan is out here flirting with everybody. So they're there talking and Nathan is expressing himself to Zach saying that at home he's not happy because his wife allow his kids to talk to him like just anyway and she doesn't respect him stuff like that and Zach is saying it's on him Nathan even said at one point um if I could leave them I would but apparently Zach and him they made a promise that they would never leave their kids no matter what and that actually explains a lot with that thought the fact that Zach said that when they were kids they made that they said that they would never leave their kids now we get to understand why Zach is the way he is with Karen and why Karen is even being allowed to do so many stuff and Zach is is treading lightly with that situation because he doesn't want to have that burden to say it's his child and he missed out on the nine months and now the child is here and it's actually his I think that's where that guilt is coming from so as I was saying guys we get a lot more backstory from these from the Zatima spin-off and we understand the characters better on sisters when it comes on to Zach and Fatima and the decisions they make so Tony gets back from his bear run and they're having a drink and Zach is telling that when Fatima gets here you're gonna say hi sorry I have to go and they're supposed to leave that's the agreement right but when Zach leaves to go call Fatima to see where she was Tony shows Nathan the picture that he saw well the picture that he took 
with Fatima and Ian hugging each other, right? So Nathan is like, no, this can't happen. We have to tell him. Tony doesn't want to tell him like that, but Nathan, Nathan is ready. And he's going to tell him. So Zach goes in. He greets Fatima. Um, Fatima is a little bit out of it. <laughs> Nathan comes in and like, hi. I'm Nathan. Fatima introduces herself. The first question Nathan is gonna ask is, "Do you always dress this good to go to work?" I mean, damn. <laughs> so this is the reason why I tell you guys that Nathan is a character that we hate love because he's funny, so we want to keep him there. But the things he do, we really don't like. Right? So Zach is saying that. You know, the boys are going to leave so that they can have a conversation. Fatima is saying, no, it's cool. You guys can go ahead and have fun. I'm going to go upstairs, run a bath. Nathan is asking if they can go to a party. Fatima says, no problem. Zach, go ahead and have some fun, right? So Fatima leaves to go upstairs and Nathan is telling Zach that they're going to the party. Fatima said, it's okay, so let's go to the party, right? right? So Zach starts to get a little irritated because he's been telling Nathan that he's not going to this party. And then his lady just came home. She's all in her feels. She's not feeling well and he wants to be there for her. Just as how he has been. He's always done that. He's always made sure that she is secure. She is safe before he goes anywhere. Even from the scene that we see in Sisters. He always ensure that, listen, she's comfortable and she's okay before he leaves. So I get, I'm guessing he wanted to do that first. But Nathan was pushing the whole thing. And then forced Tony to show him the picture. So when Zach saw the picture, it was like, oh. He was like, shit. Now, Nathan is all up in his face. Like, that's it. That's her. And you want to move her in. And you want to love on her. And this is what she's doing. So Zach is a little bit hurt. And that's actually where the episode ended. Where we see Zach was completely hurt. By the fact that she's there hugging this man. And he had no idea that they were even meeting. Zach met Ian before in the day. So he knew that it's her ex. But why is Fatima there? And Fatima haven't told him. And then she comes home. She's all in a mood. So it's like it's not adding up. It would be like she has guilt she's feeling guilt about what they did like if they did anything so i'm guessing that's what that whole anger is about with zach seeing that picture all right guys you know that zatima is out it comes out every thursday on bet plus so definitely go and go ahead and watch it tell me in the comments what you guys think about episode five i'm gonna do the breakdown for episode six as well thank you guys so much for tuning in and definitely don't forget to subscribe and tell me in the comments what you think